Hello. Welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see a demo on date input widget. Here we have the date input widget. And if I click on this, it shows up the calendar. The value showing up here is the system date. And the user can select, say for example, if I want to select 2nd of May, I, I select the date here using the calendar. And there is a text which appears here. Selected date is 2nd of May. And this is a default format YYYMMTD. So if I change the date to 29th of May, the text says selected date is 20, sorry, 29th of April. The selected date is 29th of April. Now the user can select the dates, uh, but there is a restriction. We have put a control. So say for example, in this case, um, the user can go till 23rd of April, but if the user want to select any date before 23rd of April, he, he cannot because the minimum date is set to 23rd of April. Similarly, if I go to May, um, the user can select uh, the dates till 13th of May and any date beyond 13th of May, the, uh, date cannot be selected. This is because we have defined a window using the minimum and maximum and the user can select any date between between that minimum and maximum or in that window. Let's go to our studio. We we'll start with loading the required packages. We we'll load the shiny package and then I've got the UI component here where um, we are displaying some text here uh, in the form of heading and then we add the input widget using date input we say date input function we pass the argument input id then we have got label date input the value which was showing when the app um, uh, was uh, launched it it showed system date so we get that by saying sys dot date function the minimum date we restricted is system date minus 10 days so the user can go 10 days um, from 10 days before the current system date and 10 days after the current system date. This is the control we have put in place, the minimum and maximum. This gives us a window uh, between which the user can select the date. Now there are other arguments which we can use and we can look at them. So we've got format, language, width and so on. Um, we can give a try for a few of them. Then we have the text output where we are displaying the selected date. So whatever date user has selected will be um, will be shown saying selected date is whatever date was selected. Cell date is the output object. Next we have got the server function. In server function we are using render text to put our text whatever date is selected by the user we are saying output dollar cell date render text paste selected date is input dollar date input dollar date date is the input id now important point to call out that if you just use input dollar date instead of uh, paste here or as or as dot character it will show you something in numeric so if i say input dollar date and i comment the paste function and run the app you can see that the date which is shown here is in some numeric or integer format not really in the date format so one thing what we can do is we can say we can um, say s dot character and the date so the date format will be retained so if i rerun the app now you can see that the date format is retained what happens when we use paste so when we use paste um, because of the paste function the the input dollar date is anyhow concatenated um, and it becomes a single string selected date is input dollar 
update so you don't need to exclusively convert it um, and put as dot character let's use um, other arguments so see for example if I need to reduce the width of date input widget we can use the width argument we can say width equals say 100 pixels and if I reload the app now we see that the width is reduced we can also put format here so right now it shows y y y y hyphen mm hyphen dd format and we can change the format actually we can say format equals mm dd y y so if i rerun the app you can see now it is mm td yy but you you must also notice that the selected date is th this text it still shows the date in yyyy mm dd format so in order to change that what we will need to do is we will have to use the format function to format the date in mm dd yy format so we'll say format comma let's say percent m percent d percent y and if i reload the app it will show selected date is mm dd 